all right what is up everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome back to me it's been a while since i've done anything but new year new me new game so we're gonna start over from scratch and make a game together the idea here is to make a full game from scratch uh so yeah let's do it um before we jump into it i just want to go through a quick some quick notes and my idea idea behind this so let's let's just walk through it look i made a powerpoint presentation inside of unreal uh so first goal here is to make a full playable multiplayer game all the way from main menu to a finished game we'll see how far we get uh kind of want to release it on steam just to see if we can get that far uh it's quite an undertaking though so we will see but here are my thoughts about it uh, i like arpgs and roguelites so that's what we're gonna try to make uh it's probably not gonna be very advanced uh but this archetype of games make suit very well for solo development since they don't require that much of story and stuff like that so that's what we're aiming at some notes about this i will try to use free assets for as long as i can so i can distribute the project files to patrons uh i want to do that as far as possible so we will try to build the entire base game out just with placeholder assets uh, if we get that far uh, i will on my own probably in videos and stuff replace animations and models with what i like and we'll see how we can make it look but at that point i probably won't be able to distribute it anymore uh, a note on that is as well like paid assets generally if you pay for animations and stuff like that it's going they're gonna look way better than if we just try to get free animations from uh, maybe epic themselves with the paragon animations or uh, Mixamo or whatever doesn't look as well as proper animations um, so we will go as far as we can with that uh, but there's always people commenting on the videos that they want me to use free assets and assets that they can use themselves so we're gonna try to do that uh, as I said at some point I'll probably replace a lot of stuff with paid assets i will try to keep the systems as basic as possible as to not spend too many episodes developing one single thing as we did with the inventory system that kind of burned me out and it was wasn't very fun in the end in my opinion at least not for me <laughs> so that's what we're gonna try to avoid we're gonna try to avoid sticking to like one thing for 30 episodes so this also means that I need to keep the systems, systems fairly basics. So probably like specific characters, you will have maybe one sword character and there's not going to be a hundred swords that you can equip and change between and stuff like that. I will, I will try to keep stuff more basic basically. And yeah, on the previous note, that's probably good, good advice for solo game devving in general don't try to make and use skyrim on your own that's gonna be hard um, above all we will try to actually use proper game logic uh, proper game development logic for things like casting interfaces and soft object references this is something that people in tutorials do not do i haven't done that either um, there's a lot of cases where casting is maybe not good uh, and you also don't want all of your assets loaded into memory at all times which happens with hard references uh, so we will try to actually use proper game dev logic and good logic uh, that works better for performance and is just better practice in general uh, yeah no i myself i cast a lot in the tutorials as well people usually do it for speed since it's a tutorial you don't want your episode to be an hour you can take shortcuts like casting instead of using soft object pointers and stuff like that uh will make it 
yeah, the video will be faster, but the system will be worse. So, um, I sometimes have a lot of work to do, so I can't always uh, promise to upload regularly. This is, uh, yeah, as you can see, I've been off for a while here now, focusing on work. I work a lot, and I also play games myself with my friends, and I go out drinking and stuff like that. So I will try to upload as recent uh, as, as often as I can, but we will see. My goal is two videos a week, but that might be too much, but we will see. Since this is quite an undertaking, I also can't promise to actually finish everything. Like with the inventory system, I got, it was really hard for me after like 50 episodes to keep going with it. So we will see. That's kind of one, one why I want to do more systems, but each system more basic instead. Because that keeps it fresh for me, makes it fun for me. If it's fun for me, it's easier for me to pump up videos. Because I don't have to force myself to do it. So that's the reason behind that. But we'll see. I'll try to do my best and try to stick to it. But I can't promise anything. I will also try to listen to suggestions, but I will try to avoid very specific functionality. So I will not, probably not do a very, yeah. If you look at the comments, there's always stuff like that. Uh, I understand it, but I won't go into, because every game is different, right? And if you're making a game where you need very specific functionality, that's not gonna serve a lot of other people to watch me making a tutorial of that. So. The systems here will probably be fairly generic, which should work for most types of games and most types of uh, situations. But they will, once again, be basic, so you have to expand upon them if you want more. Some things I want to uh, include. Main menu and character selection. Uh, so as I said, all the way from main menu, so we're gonna start up, we're gonna be able to start up the game, uh, create a lobby, connect to friends, and uh, select a character and stuff like that. Connecting to friends here. So all of that. Uh, I've not decided if we wanna implement Steam or just direct connection with IP. Probably start with direct connection with IP and then uh, maybe implement Steam at a later stage if I stick around and actually make a proper game. Uh, we will definitely need to probably use Steam or EOS or whatever. Melee and ranged combat. Uh, basic skill spell system. Uh, melee and ranged NPC enemies. NPC spawning system. A leveling system for a character. Some kind of pick up power up system. Uh, as I said, if it's gonna be like a roguelike, it's probably gonna be like randomized every run, the leveling system and your pickups or or your skills that you get or whatever. Final note, although I am experienced with Unreal and multiplayer development, there will always be different and or better alter alternatives to do things. Maybe not better, but there will always be different ways to do things. I will try to I will try to keep as close I can as what I do in my own projects and what I do when I work so that it's actually that's what I mean with proper development but that's my proper development some people might disagree with me and I'm not claiming to be a super expert on everything so I will probably also make errors here and there so if you see it shout out in the comments and I can give more reasoning behind it uh, but yeah as with all YouTube tutorials, especially YouTube tutorials, you should probably take a lot of things with a grain of salt. Uh, there are a lot of errors in a lot of YouTube tutorials and mine as well, especially if you look at my older tutorials, there's a bunch of weird stuff I did back then that I've learned not to do anymore. So that's what we're gonna try to avoid in this video, in this entire series. So. With that out of the way, let's get into it. So this is just a, yeah, the first video, probably just gonna be some setup. So let's do that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Or maybe I should stop here, make that a separate video, and then uh, uh, upload and then do this as its own video. Or let's just do, yeah, let's do that for people who don't care about my 10 minutes explanation. So yeah, we will start setting the project up in the next video. See you. Peace.